hello guys welcome back to another android at mock tutorial in this video i am going to show you how to place a rewarded video ad in your android application from at mock so the first step you have to create a new ad to unit in your at mock account so go to your at mock account select your application and select add to units and create a new ad unit select rewarded video First, you have to specify how many uh, reward you are going to offer the user for watching that video. So here I am going to offer 15 coins. And here you have to specify the reward item. Uh, you can specify coins, extra lives, etc. So here I specify the item as coins. And here is the settings for AtMob mediation. And here is the frequency capping. Uh, here no cap on impression if you uh, want to limit the number of videos shown per minutes uh, you can change it here and finally you have to specify the art unit name uh, here i specify an art unit name and finally click save so now the art unit is created successfully here is the application id and here is the art unit id so we have to place the application id and rt unit id in our android application to display the ads so now we can start with the android studio project so this is the android studio project that we are going to use test the rewarded video ad from atmo assume this is a game the user reaches some stages of the game and the user needs some extra coin to unlock the next stage. So here we provide two options for the user. First one, the user how to buy some coin and second option, the user how to watch a video to earn some coin. So when user click the button, uh, we are going to display a rewarded video ad and after watching that video. Uh, we are going to reward some coins to the user so that the user can uh, go to the next stage of the game so the first thing uh, we have to add the needed permission for the application so open android manifest.xml so here i specify the first permission it is the internet permission now we need the permission to access the network state so these are the two permissions needed by atmob now we need to integrate atmob sdk to the android studio project uh, we can integrate atmob sdk through gradle so we need to add some dependency for that here is the dependency Uh, now go to the app level gradle file add the dependency here now sync the project uh, now here the project sync finishes that means we successfully integrate atmob sdk to the sandboard studio project now go to main activity java uh, first here I am going to initialize the mobile SDK uh, mobile add dot initialize so for this method you have to pass two parameter uh, first one is the context here I am going to pass get application context and now you need to specify the application ID you will get the application ID from atmob so here I am going to use a sample app ID. Uh, here is a sample atmob app ID. So here I am going to use this ID. It is safe to use this ID for testing purpose. So in this project uh, we successfully integrate the atmob SDK and we initialize the mobile SDK. Now here I am going to create some variables for 
a rewarded video and animators m and first we have to get an instance of the rewarded video and mobile are stored uh, you can call this method get a rewarded video add instance uh, for this method you have to pass one parameter it is the context so here I pass the activity context so it is recommended to use activity context with this method because if you config your applic if you config this add to unit for mediation uh, some mediation adapters need the activity context to display the ads. So it is recommended to use the activity context uh, for this method. So soon after uh, launch your application, uh, you have to load the ad as soon as possible because when user uh, want to, uh, when user click the button, we have to make sure that the ad is already loaded in the background. So now I am going to load the ad. For that here I am going to create a way, create a method. Uh, first here check some condition. And here call a method is loaded that means the ad is not loaded yet. in that case we can load it call the method load add so here you have to pass the add unit ID here also I'm going to use a test add So here is a sample add to unit ID for a rewarded video ad. I copy this one. Always use test start for testing purpose. Uh, using a production video ad for testing is against Atmo policy. Now the second parameter is the add request. And finally call the build method on it. So now from this method, from the on create method of the activity, I am going to call that method. So now this application have a rewarded video. It is available in the background. So when user click the button, we have to display that rewarded video ad. So for this button, we already specify an onClick method. Now we need to implement this method inside main activity.java. So here I implement that method inside main activity. So from this method, uh, we are going to display the rewarded video ad. if the ad is, is already loaded in that case we can display the rewarded video ad you can simply call the show method so now this app when user click the button this application display uh, a rewarded video ad so now we need to handle some uh, life cycle events of the video ad for that here I'm going to implement some interface here I'm going to implement an interface called the rewarded video ad listener you need to implement the methods so here I implement uh, override methods like on a rewarded video at loaded a video at open video started a video at closed etc and here is the method called on rewarded from this method uh, we can 
uh, we can provide some reward to the user so now here I'm going to create some variables for text to view now go to the layout file check the ID of the text to view here ID is text to view now initialize that text to view now find it it is text to view so after user uh, after user finishing watching that video uh, this method will invoke invoke on rewarded method will invoke so uh, you can get the amount by calling the get amount method on this parameter called the reward item but here in this project uh, we already use uh, a test application id and a test uh, add unit id so it is not possible to access the uh, reward amount from atmob instead so here i am going to explicitly provide some reward to the user so go to layout file here is the text available on the text to view so from this method we are going to provide some reward to the user Uh, we offer 15 coins to the user so when user finishes that video uh, we need to load the next video so from this method on reward video at close from this method uh, we can load the uh, next reward video uh, for that here I am going to call that method again load rewarded video add ok so now this application contain a rewarded video add to forward the life cycle events of the rewarded video add to your parent activity you have to call resume pause and destroy methods on rewarded video add instance uh, in inside corresponding life cycle methods of the activity so here I am going to override lifecycle methods of activity from the on pause method I am going to call the pause lifecycle method of the rewarded video and I think it is deprecated not it is not deprecated now from the on resume method call the resume method of the uh, rewarded video add and pass the context from the destroy method call the destroy method on rewarded video add that's it so now uh, we integrate a rewarded video add to this application now we can test it so before going to run this application we forget something here we have to set the add listeners for the rewarded video add so m add dot set a rewarded video add listener into this and now we can test it Uh, now here the virtual device is ready now we can test it so run the application now the application available on this virtual device now the available coin is zero now load a video so now this is a rewarded video add from atmob i think it is about 60 seconds first i close that video so when user close that video there is no coin is rewarded so now i try to watch that video again hi this is a rewarded video test ad 
Nice job getting it loaded and displayed. In a couple seconds, the video will end and your app will get a reward callback. In three, two, one. Now the rewarded video ad finishes. Now I close it. So now here we offer a 50 coins to the user. So this is how we integrate a rewarded video ad from AdMob into our Android application. I hope you understand all these con concepts. Please subscribe my channel for getting more Android tutorial updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.